somebody who might have some answers on yeah. this because he's got answers on everything else. Yeah. Uh, he's been all over the story as he is on every NBA story. Vincent wow. Goodwill is with us now. Uh, Vince, we wish you were here uh, in person in, in Phoenix um, where Chris Paul was almost shipped out. <laughs> uh, in exchange for Kyrie over. He almost went to Brooklyn. Uh, Vinny, you heard what we got to say. Just give us your overall thoughts on what this tra uh, whether you like this trade for either team, both team, neither teams, uh, or uh, what's next? Because we still got a couple of days before the trade deadline, Vin. I don't think this does as much for Dallas as people think. Like, like one reason Dallas was able to kind of make a Western Conference Finals run last year was because you had a couple of good defenders on that team. Now you've added Kyrie Irving, right? You've got another shot maker if he shows up to work. Remember, this is the guy that says, I am a leader of this team, and the next day asks for a trade after six weeks of good behavior, along with wanting four years and $200 million. There might be only one NBA owner that desperate to take on a guy, and that's Mark Cuban, right? Now, Imagine what Kyrie's surprise is going to be when he finds out that this is a tryout, right? That this is not something that is guaranteed for him to get all of that money. Because if you look at what Dallas gave up, they didn't give up the farm. They gave up a really important piece in Dorian Finney-Smith, like a guy that sort of connects all things because mm -hmm. he doesn't need the ball, because he defends and everything else, right? Can you imagine how exhausted those other two defenders on Dallas is going to be when Luca and Kyrie <laughs> and Christian Wood are taking all these shots. So not only am I not getting the ball, but I got to make up for y'all on right. the half court end of we the got, on we defense. Gotta, we got to cover two on five. <laughs> no. So here's where the most intriguing thing to me is. Who, who's getting Kevin Durant? That's the, that's the question. Is, yeah. is that the next shoe to drop? Is, no is, pun intended. Is, 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 that the, is, that, is that the next too small shoe I think to one drop? Of his, one of his shoes is up there uh, on your wall. Man, there, Lenny. Can we not talk about shoe sizes in front of Natalie? I do not feel like getting yelled at or FCC Airways about a shoe size, right? Now, because that move, y'all, didn't really do anything as far as changing the hierarchy in the West, you know what would change the hierarchy in the West? If, say, a team like the Golden State Warriors said, hey, Kevin, let's bring that old thing back again, right? Because this thing we got this year ain't quite working, and we know you're searching for some stability like and some that. familiarity. Now, now so in the summer. Not, now, why bring it back on home? Now, Vinny, in the summer, you know, the, the, the next to last trade request from this big three. Um, it's hard to keep up. <laughs> that, that, that came up but it was quickly dismissed. Natalie is our resident Golden State Warriors expert. Um, does it make more sense now, given the state of the Warriors, to entertain a reunion? The appetite was always somewhat there for both sides. Um, but I think, I think Phoenix is probably a more realistic team to watch than the Warriors. And I think Phoenix probably has more to offer that the Nets would want than the Warriors. But Joe Lacob has really been unwilling to give up what he has. He would do that probably for a player like Kevin Durant. Hmm. Vinny, given what the Nets got in return, I think the Nets did pretty well, all things considered. Now, look, Joe Sy was like, I don't care what the Lakers offering me. I, you ain't going where you want to go. You know what I'm That's saying? That's payback right there. <laughs> that is, like, that is but dirty. All things considered, I think they got a pretty good return for Kyrie. And most important, they got rid of a headache. So you think Durant definitely would want out despite how well, at least I think Brooklyn did in this trade? If there's one thing I know about Kevin Durant, one thing that Kevin Durant has shown, he does not want it all on his shoulders. 360 days ago, he had James Harden. Five days ago, he had Kyrie Irving. He has none of those guys now. And you mean to tell me that the poo-poo platter of teammates that he has relative it to ain't the a stars poo -poo that he thought platter. Yeah, Yes, it is. Relative. Yes, it is. Michael Smith. Relative. I heard you say relative. I heard you. Yes. But you say I also heard poo-poo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Got, that's like no disrespect, so, but yeah. so, <laughs> so considering considering y'all like really bad love songs, I'm gonna give y'all an opening bar to what Kevin Durant should be saying. I know some of these so-called players wouldn't tell you this. Sing but it, I'm gonna man. be real and show what's on my heart. Sing he it, should Vinny. call Steve Kerr. He should call Bob Myers. He should call Stephen Curry. And Hands say we ain't getting no younger. Knees. We might as well do it. 
we, we ain't get no get younger. No younger <laughs> we might as well do this right damn now. Nah. Vinny, I will what? take that as you coming along and coming around to seeing the brilliance of just let's, of let's get married. I appreciate that, Vin. Thank you. Michael Smith, Michael Smith, if ever a man says anything to a woman about a marriage proposal and says, <laughs> I know some of these so-called players wouldn't tell you this, talking up, like hating on some other dudes that ain't even there, and that's the opening bar for a marriage proposal, I swear to you, we have lost <laughs> recipes. We have completely hey. lost recipes. It worked. Maybe it worked. It worked for a lot of people. Yes, it did. It worked for a lot of people. I don't know. I have higher standards. Hey. Look, I got an older sister. Hey. If some dude came to my older sister and said that, and she said yes, she will be disowned before she changed her last name. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you, I'll, tell you you, I, I'll tell you this, too. These guys are talking about toxic relationships. The reason people stay in toxic relationships, one of the reasons, because they see Sex. some value. Well, yeah, well that, yeah, that too. But Wait, what did he say? Sex. Um, <laughs> of course he did. Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> but the reason they stay. Vinny. <laughs> the reason they now, stay. I wouldn't say we can't take Vinny nowhere, but he's still on. at home. Yeah, Vinny. That's why, <laughs> he ain't even here, that's why you're fool. not here. And that's why you're not here, okay? <laughs> but um, they stay because of, they see some value. And so as toxic as, Tyree, uh, as Kyrie is, 27 points. Five boards, yeah. five assists, starting the All-Star game, maybe. We'll see. We'll see if he still wants to do that. And so you can't tell me, oh, the Nets did well. No, the Nets didn't do no, no, well. Well, well, just like didn't. He, well, just like he said, relative to the All-Stars he had, it's a poo-poo platter, relative, right? I said all things considered. It's like did uh, it's, you tra you know you're what? trading a superstar. This is why, this is why Joe Sy said, but Joe Sy got in the way. I, I understand why Super, he's like, so hold on, why, hold on. I understand why he's being petty. Talent. Well, yeah, but, 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 I understand why he's being Not petty, superstar. though. I'm going to come back to that, Vinny. He didn't get Go the ahead. best deal, though. He didn't get the best deal. Because what was the it, best deal? Because it, it, Whatever it was, it, there was the something Lakers better. Did. He didn't want him to go. He didn't want him to go. I don't go. know that Russell Westbrook. No, it was a three-team trade, though. It was a three-team trade. So he had assets coming from two teams, potentially. And he didn't want to do it because he didn't want to see Kyrie land in L.A. So he chose his ego over okay. the best deal. Perhaps. But I don't think I don't think it's a situation like what Pop did, where like he actually could have gotten probably a better deal and still sent Kawhi to Toronto. I I do think that this is probably one of the better deals Correct. that he could get. So I don't think he hurt. Even though he was like, I'm not sending you where you want to go. I don't think he hurt the team also in the Vinny, process. you said super, you emphasize superstar talent. And that's why I was challenging you on the poo poo platter part. Spencer Didwitty, Dorian Finney Smith, versatile, better defenders, not as ball dominant, probably better fits, fits from a team standpoint. And you're probably right about Kevin Durant and what he doesn't want. He doesn't want it to be all on him, right? Maybe, maybe so. But we spent the whole opening segment, and all we've talked about is how, to, for all the superstar talent, to your point, Vinny, that the Brooklyn Nets had with Kyrie and, and James Harden alongside KD, what do they have to show for it? So that's why I feel like they might be in a better situation come playoff time than they otherwise would have been because otherwise they're relying on Mr. Unreliable. And, and so far, what has that gotten them? So that's why yeah. I, I feel like they have made out for all intents and purposes just by getting rid of the headache, getting rid of the, the, the distraction, getting rid of the, the cloud. Who knows if he if he'd decided to play the rest of the year. All that stuff is out the door. Almost anything you get in return of value is gravy to me, Vinny. Okay, I, I kind of understand you on that one. But did either one of you, did any one of you honestly believe that the Brooklyn Nets, even with a healthy Kevin Durant, even with Kevin Durant being in the conversation of, you know, best player alive, right? Did any of y'all really believe they were going to be Boston or Milwaukee with Kyrie Irving? I right. didn't. Right. Okay, so if that's the answer... No, Kyrie Irving isn't a quote-unquote superstar. Yeah, it, it, it may be more reliable guys that you get, but it doesn't bring you any closer to that level, to that upper echelon. It puts you further back. Now you have Kevin Durant who's going to have to come back off of injury and then rush like he did last year. Remember, he rushed to the finish line, and by game three of that series against Boston, when they got swept, that man was exhausted, right? So yeah. you're going to put yourself in the same situation this time. Now, the Kyrie thing with the Lakers. Thank you. I was going to bring that up. For the past three months, we've been saying the Lakers have nothing to offer but a poo-poo platter. Right? That's a real poo-poo platter. Put, they did, they're a real poo-poo platter. They did not put both draft picks on the table 
along with two rotation players. So take the pettiness out of it. Was it actually the best deal no. that the no. Brooklyn no. Nets could have gotten? And no. if the answer is no, then it's not about Joe Sy being petty because I truly believe it's Sean Marks that came to Joe Sy and said, hey, this is the best deal for our present and our mm. future. Forget where Kyrie Irving is going. I do think that some level of cooler head would have prevailed, but it, the Lakers didn't put their best foot forward. Why? Because they didn't trust Kyrie Irving. Why did Joe Sy not want to trade Kyrie Irving to the Lakers? Because Kyrie Irving made that bet. Regardless of what happens here, we've got to realize the Dallas Mavericks did not get better. Kyrie Irving is not in that much of a better situation, and we still don't know. There's still no guarantee that this guy is going to get four years and two hundred million dollars this offseason. So while well, it looks on it, while it looks on his face like he won, he's still at Baltic Avenue, and y'all betting he's going to get the boardwalk. I need to well, see it. But but that's but that's why all, all all well said. I think maybe we'll see if if Dallas is better. They're definitely different. But if I'm going to bet on a Kyrie Irving, I'm going to bet on the one that knows he has to not only be on his best behavior, but play his best ball Playing if he contract. wants to get anything close wait, to the contract wait. he wants. Hold if on. He has every Hold incentive. On. He didn't learn. He has every incentive. I know, Vinny. He's if not the, learning. If there's a chance that Kyrie Irving is going to go act right, it's now. It. If there's Michael a chance. Smith. Michael Smith. Michael Smith. I was born yesterday, but I stayed up all night. All right, but Denzel. I remembered, I remembered in the womb when I was in the womb, because I wasn't born till yesterday, that Kyrie Irving entered the season in the contract year, right? And he played well, and he played great. He didn't but get the contract he wanted on the terms he wanted, and he asked out. He, he Kyrie'd this thing, but he's been playing what, well. Michael Smith, what happened before he started playing his best ball? What did he do on the Twitter machine? Oh, <laughs> Why you got to go bringing up old shit? But like, also, like, the <laughs> thing about it is this is not just about, like, how Kyrie performs and what he does and his reliability. There's also Luca, who's a factor in what happens in Dallas. Because mm. Luca had to sign off on this, and they have to – Luca wanted help. And so at the end right. of the day, if they're not going to keep Kyrie – they have to also have an answer for Luca because they could also risk losing him too. So that's why they it's had not to do all it. just yeah. about Kyrie. Hey, thank you for watching Brother from Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.